are you also doing these three powerpoint blunders hi everyone my name is haritosh rivasdo i am a public speaking coach certified mentor and a best selling author please watch this video till the end to hear about a special announcement now are you also doing this top 3 mistake while delivering the powerpoint presentation what are those like you i have attended i have given i have advised people or giving so many powerpoint presentation i have seen so many people doing these three powerpoint blunders and what's those number 1 having an information traffic jam what do you what do i mean by that i've seen people using slides which has got not one not 270 lines of text and too many images and too many graphs and it's all confusing and what does the audience feel why am i here exactly so number one blunder that i have seen people do is having too much information on their slides too many pictures too many images too much text wondering their audience why 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 so that the basic rule is keep your slides neat keep only one main idea one main information in the slides and i know there are corporate templates you don't want to mess around with that but if it is allowed try having only one idea in one slide what's number 2 is having too many or too little slides now i've seen people using 100 slides in 5 minute presentation and i've also seen you people using only 5 slides for a 49 minute presentation now both of these streams both of these are actually extremes right so what do you want to do is you need to have appropriate number of slides now typically in a virtual presentation the number of slides tends to be little higher typically the expectation used to be one slide per minute but with the virtual in the picture you might want to have little more at the same time you don't want to have 150 slides for 5 minute as well so you want to have a balance between too less or too little so have appropriate number of slides because not having that is the second biggest blunder number 3 and that's something got to do with the preparation enough i've seen so many people who are just going through the slide give me a second i'll just take check the next one give me a second i'll go the one they're not sure what is the agenda and that all comes because they've not prepared rehearsed and done a number of dry runs if you are having an important presentation one thing you really want to do is have a complete dry run have a complete flow of your powerpoint you want to know what's coming after the slide otherwise it may look very messy messy and your audience will feel like is he reading his own slides or has he taken from somewhere else so you want to make sure that you have gone through your own slides enough and you are prepared enough so that's the th- third blunder i see not preparing enough not going through your slides enough so those were the top 3 blunders when it comes to powerpoint presentation having an information traffic jam having too many or too little slides and also not preparing enough what other blunders have you seen